As consumers, do we buy our products at manufacturing facilities? At distribution centers? Off the delivery truck? No. Typically, we buy them at retail stores. Supply chains are supposed to get the right product to the right place at the right time in the most efficient manner possible in an effort to satisfy the customer, which means supply chain management should not stop when the product leaves the manufacturer, the distribution center, or even when we unload it from the truck. Supply chain management requires that you get the product into the customer's hands. Stores may be content saying they have a product in stock, but customers only care to know that the product they want is exactly where they would expect it to be. Not on a pallet, not in the back room, not in the wrong place out on the floor. They want it on the shelf. Then again, just having the right product on the right shelf at the right time is not enough to create an excellent retail experience for your customer. And that is exactly what retail stores are tasked with doing, manufacturing outstanding retail experiences. What makes up an outstanding retail experience? An excellent mix of competitively priced products and services, a clean, organized, and appealing facility, excellent customer service from a friendly, well-informed, easy-to-find store employee, and fast and efficient waiting lines, payment processes, and return processes. In total, what we find is that retail stores, like manufacturing facilities, are concerned with issues related to materials, operations, and logistics. They need to consider issues like capacity, productivity, and value. And in the competitive world of retail, they always need to be consistently effective, efficient, and ready to adapt to whatever the market demands. Yeah, I know, you're still thinking, but who wants to work in retail? Each big box American retail store typically sells between $500,000 and $1.5 million worth of product each week and employees in excess of 100 employees at any given time. That's a huge responsibility to put in the hands of someone who doesn't understand basic supply chain principles. That's why big box store managers earn six-figure incomes. Still don't want to work in retail? Fine. Hospitals, airlines, banks, hotels, restaurants, auto dealers. What do they have in common? They sell products and services directly to customers which means they aren't that different from retail stores. They could all benefit from executives that understand capacity, productivity, value, quality management, materials management, operations, and logistics. They're no different from any other good organization on earth, are they? They could all use the help of supply chain managers.